My top 5 base distortions are the Dark Glass Vintage Deluxe for low gain stuff, the Orange Base Butler for high gain with Capsim stuff, the Hempstead Subspace for being incredibly versatile and taking active bases well, the JHS Crimson for simply being an obtainable Civil War Big Muff clone, but my number one favorite base distortion is the Red Mug by Gem Pedals. And now there's a limited base the world edition of this very pedal. Let's check it out. Lovely people, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries, and on Base, I'm accompanied by my buddy Alex Lofoko today. Over the years, I've owned and tried hundreds of distortion pedals. I've always been drawn towards the Electro Harmonics Big Muff, especially the vintage pedals, but they have some issues that make them not so easy to use in modern pedalboard concepts. That's why it was no surprise I fell in love with this once I got it in my hand. It's based on the Big Muff circuit, but it has a blend control and an extra boost for even more gain. Pedals made this as a limited base the world edition. 100 pieces exclusively sold on reverb.com with the base clef and the world printed on the pedal, which could be a play on base the world. Yeah, that's what it is. And I dig the color of this pedal. In the shade, it's black, but once you put it on the proper light, disco. <laughs> was another reason why I like the Red Mug so much. It pairs perfectly with other pedals, especially Octavos and other distortions like the Rattler or the Ampex Subblaster that you've just heard. Or let's play a clip from our first review. It's the Red Mug paired with the Mutron Octave Divider. <laughs> This is one of my favorite pieces of music that was ever recorded here in this room. And it for sure wasn't the last time I found an excuse to include it in another video. But now let's have a quick look at the controls. We got gain, mix, level and tone. Gain adjusts the amount of distortion. Mix blends it with your direct signal to keep your low end integrity intact. Level is the master volume and tone allows you to adjust the amount of highs you want to cut or let through. And it's especially this tone control that makes the Red Max so much better than the Big Muffs. On the originals you don't have much tone range as a bass player. If you open it too wide the pedal will cut off some low end which is already a problem since there's no mix control. And if you turn it too low you simply won't cut through the mix. This tone here sounds great in all positions. No matter if you want to get rid of all harshness and just play warm, mellow, overdriven bass tones, it's here. Same if you want to let your tone wide open and get all that fizzy goodness. It sounds all fantastic. Now let's look into the range of this pedal and let's start with a low gain and low mix setting, which barely distorts but gives your bass some extra grit. <laughs> Now let's swap the pedal out for the standard version, Alex for Phil and here the red mark in a medium gain setting. Yeah. 
Yes, that was the intro from our original Red Mark video, which I highly recommend to watch after this to hear even more sound samples. And to avoid any confusion, yes, they look different, but it's exactly the same circuit, so the sounds are identical. Now, let's get the third player involved. Here's Lars Lehmann with a proper high-end sound. <laughs> This pedal has an amazing gain and tone range. It's very dynamic, even when lots of gain is dialed in. It's the perfect distortion. And since it's a modern pedal, it has no issues whatsoever to deal with modern active basses. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, this isn't exactly a modern bass, uh, it's older than me, but you know what I mean. It's loud, it's active. And that's it, the Red Mug, now available in this beautiful Bass The World Edition exclusively on Reverb.com. If you want to get one, better move fast, I've no idea how long the stock will last. They might be sold out tonight, tomorrow or 10 minutes. I've no idea, this is the first time we're doing something like this. Maybe it takes a month, I really don't know. So support your favorite bass channel, buy this pedal and get to play this outstanding piece of gear with your bass and your rig. I can't wait for your feedback, so please tell me how you like it in the comments below. That's it for me, thanks so much for watching and if you're interested, here's our first Redmark review. Bye bye!